Ezekiel 3. And God said to me, Son of man, eat what is before you. Eat this scroll. Then go and speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he gave me the scroll to eat. Then he said to me, Son of man, eat this scroll I am giving you, and fill your stomach with it. So I ate, and it tasted sweet as honey in my mouth. He said to me, Son of man, now go to the house of Israel and speak my words to them. You are not being sent to a people of obscure speech and difficult language, but to the house of Israel, not to many peoples of obscure speech and difficult language whose words you cannot understand. Surely, if I had sent you to them, they would have listened to you. But the house of Israel is not willing to listen to you because they are not willing to listen to me. For the whole house of Israel is hardened and obstinate, but I will make you as unyielding and hardened as they are. I will make your forehead like the hardest stone, harder than flint. Do not be afraid of them or terrified by them, though they are a rebellious house. And he said to me, Son of man, Listen carefully and take to heart all the words I speak to you. Go now to your countrymen in exile and speak to them. Say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, whether they listen or fail to listen. Then the Spirit lifted me up, and I heard behind me a loud rumbling sound. May the glory of the Lord be praised in his dwelling place, the sound of the wings of living creatures brushing against each other, and the sound of the wheels beside them, a loud rumbling sound. Then the Spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went in bitterness and anger of my spirit. With the strong hand of the Lord upon me, I came to the exiles who lived at Tel Aviv, near the Kabar River, and there... Where they were living, I sat among them for seven days, overwhelmed. At the end of seven days, the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel, so hear the word I speak and give them warning from me. When I say to a wicked man, You shall surely die, and you do not warn him or speak out to dissuade him from his evil ways in order to save his life, that wicked man will die for his sin, and I will hold you accountable for his blood. But if you do warn the wicked man, and he does not turn from his wickedness or from his evil ways, he will die for his sin, but you will have saved yourself. Again, when a righteous man turns from his righteousness and does evil, and I put a stumbling block before him, he will die. Since you did not warn him, he will die for his sin. The righteous things he did will not be remembered, and I will hold you accountable for his blood. But if you do warn the righteous man not to sin, and he does not sin, he will surely live because he took warning, and you will have saved yourself. The hand of the Lord was upon me there, and he said to me, Get up and go out to the plain, and there I will speak to you. So I got up and went out to the plain. And the glory of the Lord was standing there like the glory I had seen by the Kabar River, and I fell face down. Then the Spirit came into me and raised me to my feet. He spoke to me and said, Go, shut yourself inside your house, and you, son of man, They will tie with ropes. You will be bound so you cannot go out among the people. I will make your tongue stick to the roof of your mouth so that you will be silent and unable to rebuke them, though they are a rebellious house. But when I speak to you, I will open your mouth and you shall say to them, This is what the Lord says. Whoever will listen, let him listen. And whoever will refuse, let him refuse. For they are a rebellious house.